Hey, I'm Dustin Schaefer here, the Keto Pro. And so we're at week four, basically the common mistakes that you might find yourself in. Um, even though you're feeling good, there's just some things I want you to watch. If you're not feeling well, if you're not feeling like you're getting results, I want you to really pay attention to these common mistakes. The first one is, is that people are thinking they have to eat um, all the time or three meals a day or five meals a day. I want you to really start focusing on just eating when you're hungry. Yes, that might mean one meal a day. That might mean two meals a day. That's not a bad thing. If the Egyptians would have ate three to five meals a day, they'd be still building the pyramids today, y'all. That's this this idea of eating all the time is not natural to the human body, to the humans and themselves. Eating intermittently is more ideal. So I encourage fasting, but not forcing it. Because I ultimately want you to help create a new lifestyle for yourself. And if you're starving and you're always fighting, you're going to want to either just give in. So what you want to do is just eat when you're hungry. Uh, that might be when you wake up, you might have some, you know, nothing in the morning. You might be drinking our ketones. You might be um, just eating, drinking some coffee and you have a nice little fast and you eat your first meal at two o'clock. That's okay. You might eat your last meal at six o'clock. That's okay. You might eat once, you might eat twice. What I find is that most people as they get into ketosis, they only eat two to one meals a day if fat loss is their ultimate goal. I still only eat around two meals a day and fat loss isn't my goal. So, that's one of the big common mistakes. So eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full. Next thing is, is that you may have got excited and started getting one of those apps and you're like, okay, I got to get my macros and I got to do all this other stuff. Stop it. Who decided that a damn app calculator is going to be the right guide to you? They, it doesn't exist. Too many people are trying to force their system into this perfect box. It doesn't exist. Listen to your body. Eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full. Keep your carbs down low. Don't be afraid of fat. Those are the common mistakes. Um, the biggest mistakes, we already talked about hydration, so I want you to reinforce that. I'll put another link down below on hydration if you're not maximizing your results. Um, don't be afraid of fat, but this is that phase where you can start to maybe even increase it a little bit. If you feel like, you know what, I just, I'm going to try it for seven days and increase my fat intake. What I want you to do is start increasing it with uh, our MCT oil 143. You might be utilizing a keto cream that I have that, that, that helps increase your natural good fats. Um, you might be using a little bit more butter or a little bit more uh, olive oil in your food and see how you feel. It's not going to wreck anything. If you're if it's too much, you're not going to gain a bunch of weight. You're just not going to lose any body fat through that phase. You might maintain. That's okay, but see how you feel. That's what I said. See how you feel. If you feel better, it might just mean that our body needs a little bit more for now. And as it makes a transition, you'll transition down. Last little tip I want to give you. Um, there's really two little tips I want to give you. Is is exercise and movement can accelerate the the keto uh, transition. It can help burn more glucose off. It can help you start to produce more natural ketones. That are for you helps you feel better. Now there's a lot of other positive benefits of exercise. So if right now if you can start moving your body more, it's only going to be an added win. And this is like that transition week. Week four and week five is the transition week where you. Are you either going to stay on it or you're going to quit? You're going to jump out and say, listen, it's not for me. I can't do that long term. And if you're thinking about long term and if you can or can't do this, you're missing the point. What you're doing is you're transitioning into a lifestyle to help get you to a result or a goal. And then you ultimately have to create your own lifestyle that you're willing to maintain. And the only way to do that is to have a big reason of why. It has to be something important to you. Mine's my kids and my wife and I want to have vitality for my family. That's important to me. So it helps me make those decisions when it's easy to... I want pizza. No, I want to eat a nice, good, strong chicken thigh with olives and thyme and a little bit of olive oil and ooh, it's super good. So if you haven't checked out our recipes, you got to check them out. Um, and if you're on the fence right now going, can I do this? Can I not do this? Um, hit me up down below. I'm going to have a link to our product and just use it. Use it. It makes everything way simpler and you don't have to be perfect in the diet and you'll get good results, actually probably better results without being perfect every single day. So I'm not necessarily saying you have to use this. You can do the diet, but I find more people get better results by using that as a tool while they're figuring this all out when they're trying to go through life at the same time of changing their lifestyle and their nutritional plan. So we'll see you at week five, y'all. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. For the next video of the series, check out right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that we send out the next video. You get notified and you can check out the latest on the keto journey. Cheers, y'all.